Hello, so uh, welcome to this talk, uh, which is part of the TED Week 2022 conference. Um, in this talk, we are going to talk about uh, IPCC in IPBES reports, so intergovernmental um, panels on climate change and uh, biodiversity and ecosystems. And uh, they produce reports that are um, tackling some of the most important problems of humanity. Uh, but these reports are shared as PDF files. So uh, those PDF files, they have thousands of pages and uh, they're highly technical. You can't edit them, you can't annotate them. Um, and, uh, so it is hard to uh, actually pull the knowledge out of that, that is encapsulated in there. And uh, so while this is one of the most important sets of documents that humanity has produced, it is really problematic uh, in terms of getting that message to the people on this planet. So uh, uh, one could say, OK, if people can't uh, read this, then what about machines? But yeah, PDF is not a good format for machines to work with. So we need tools that help us make sense of uh, that information that is kind of hidden in these PDFs. And so that's what we set out to do. Basically, we want to start out with the uh, PDFs of IPCC reports, IPES reports and similar things. So one tool that can convert um, the content of these reports to HTML, which is the normal language of the web. And then we have another tool that uh, can then basically extract uh, document structure from, from that HTML. And uh, then uh, we can yeah, subject this HTML to certain kinds of analysis. So for instance, we can look for, for keywords and uh, we can uh, also su uh, search for key phrases and then we can uh, score them according to a number of uh, criteria. Um, so uh, for instance, we can uh, check, um, yeah, what are the most common keywords in a particular context? And then also uh, how do they compare across the corpus, uh, like um, all of the chapters or all of the IPCC reports. Um, then, uh, we can zoom in further uh, on individual uh, phrases and uh, trying to identify certain terms that are uh, relevant. So for instance, wet, wet, wetlands as a biological concept and AFOLU as an abbreviation. And uh, on that basis, we can then construct uh, a set of dictionaries where uh, we, for instance, define uh, that VRE stands for Variable Renewable Energy. Uh, we bind this to the Wikidata identifier for that concept. And also Wikidata has information in multiple languages that can also be uh, used to navigate uh, that space. So even though the reports are in English, uh, once this is linked to Wikidata, you can actually browse that information in other, in other languages. Okay, and so once we have done that, then those uh, things are not just identified, but they can actually link to uh, Wikidata so that you can uh, find out what these uh, things actually stand for and then what they are linked to. And we can do this over the entire uh, corpus. And uh, there, there may be things for which uh, we don't recognize anything yet. And uh, so that means that our dictionaries can be expanded or other aspects of our workflows uh, can be modified. And uh, at the same time, or as part of the process, we can also uh, check whether our Wikidata already has information about this or whether Wikidata can actually benefit from the information that we are extracting from these documents so that when uh, we are uh, working on the next set of documents, we can actually leverage more of Wikidata. Okay, so dictionaries that we've worked with, uh, they uh, can be uh, on any set of topics. Uh, so a typical 
things to look for in the literature that, uh, that we have dealt with are countries, diseases, drugs, also research funders, and uh, for, in for diseases, uh, for instance, um, pathogens, then mechanisms to trace them, uh, mechanisms of um, transmission, uh, interventions to pandemics, yeah, and then all of this uh, can happen actually multilingually. And so uh, we often work with uh, like on the order of hundreds to thousands of terms here. Um, so how does that look like in practice? Uh, we actually have a demo uh, Jupyter Notebook linked here that you can play with. Uh, but if we take uh, the text from six chapters of the latest IPCC uh, report, then uh, we uh, see here that, for instance, deforestation and biodiversity are amongst the most uh, common uh, words. And uh, then, uh, yeah, we can uh, plot that on a word cloud and use that for further processing. Um, we can also um, use this to actually highlight to you, based on any of your dictionaries, uh, which sections in the report are actually relevant to that, which sections are using the uh, words and phrases that you put into your dictionary or that you, uh, are contained in the dictionary that you chose. And we can feed some of that information also back to Wikidata. Um, once these sections are all kind of annotated, we can also basically give you a list of all the sections that mention, for instance, the term wetland. And uh, then another step is uh, there is sometimes text and uh, there is, of course, other information contained in images. So we're uh, working on pulling out the text from the images as well. And for certain aspects of the images, this uh, works already. Um, and so overall, uh, we basically want to make it easier uh, for um, people of all backgrounds, not just specialists, to uh, work with the contents of these uh, intergovernmental reports about climate change, biodiversity and uh, similar uh, sustainable development matters. Um, so they can learn what the individual phrases mean. They can uh, zoom in and out uh, between different levels of granularity. Uh, they can find out which parts of the documents are relevant to them. Yeah, and while the examples that we've shown so far are all from IPCC reports, here's a uh, quick demo uh, word cloud for uh, the IPES report on biodiversity and ecosystem services um, shaped uh, in the form of a parrot uh, that then contains a word cloud from this report. Yeah, so here are some links. The code that we produce is open source up on GitHub, uh, abstract DOI and uh, the slides. And yeah, we couldn't join your excursion to the Rila Mountains uh, yesterday, but uh, yeah, at least we have an image. Thank you very much.